What's up YouTube, this is Jake from JP Trading Cards here, and today I'm bringing you guys my Cybers deck profile. So this is post-Circuit Break, but before Extreme Force. Um, there's some cards in Extreme Force that I would like to add to this deck, but I wanted to get you guys this video because the deck won't change too much. Um, so, a little overall of the deck. This is used by... Playmaker, which is the main character in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, and it is extremely monster heavy. So, um, you'll find that basically over half the cards are monsters. Um, so, I think that's it for the overview. Um, I want to ask you guys to please, if you like this video, please give it a like and comment on what other deck profiles you would like to see. And I also ask you guys to subscribe to the channel for more videos. So, let's get started. Alright, for the monsters, you're going to run 3 Draconet. Uh, his effect is when he's summoned, you can special summon a normal monster from your hand. So, basically, um, or deck, hand or deck. So, basically, you're going to summon Digitron or Bitron with this. And then go into your link plays. I run three of Cyber's Wizard. So Cyber's Wizard's effect is that once per turn it can change a monster to defense position. And then if it destroys a monster, um, basically you lose damage. Next, I run three backup secretaries. Backup secretaries effect is um, if you control a Cyberus monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, so it's a, all these cards are Cyberus, so it's a free, free, uh, free special summon. Next, you run three Balancer Lords. So Balancer Lords effect is you pay a thousand life points to additionally normal, additionally normal summon one Cyberus per turn. So that's great. So basically, I mean, you get two normal summons, um, and then obviously like, a lot of these cards can special summon. So that's awesome. And then also, if this card's banished, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. So great way to, if he's in the grave, you can banish him um, and summon another monster. So now for cards that I run two of. I run two. Link Slayer. So this is basically Cyber Dragon. You can special summon this card from your hand if they if you control no monsters. Uh, once per turn, you can discard up to two cards and target that many spells or traps on the field and destroy them. So you can discard a couple cards and destroy spells or traps on the field. Next, I run two Boot Staggered. So Boot Staggered's effect is that you can uh when a spot excuse me. Cyber's monster is normal summon to the field. You can special summon this card from your hand. So, all again, all these monsters are cybers. So, play a cybers, special summon boot staggered. And then, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon one token to the field. Next, I run two Digitrons and two. Bitrons. So this, those play basically the same role in um, summoning off of um, Draconet. So to use those two and you're instantly in a uh, Honeybot or you can go into Link Spider. You can go into Binary Sorceress. Who else you can... That's I think that's about Proxy Dragon. So it's an easy way to get a link summon out. Next, for the cards that I run one of, there's five or six of them. Just kidding, maybe like seven. Um, I run one dual assemblerm. So his effect is you can banish two uh, cybers from your hand or face up on the field and special summon this card, but its attack is halved. So it's a 1400 attack. And once per turn, you can just banish one card from your hand and one on the field with attack or less than equal to this card. 
so it can banish banish cards. But I only run one of them just because special summoning him, his attack is halved, which isn't always the best, but it's a decent monster. Next, I run one Salvagen Driver. His effect is when a Ling monster is destroyed by effect, you can special summon um, this card from your hand or a graveyard, so that's always nice. And you can discard one spell and then target one Cyrus monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So it's basically a, a dual uh, special summon. Next, one Stack Reviver. St Reviver. So when this card is used, as link material, you can target one other level 4 or lower Cyrus monster in your graveyard that was used as material for that link summon. Special summon in, in defense mode. So that's great. Um, when you use the link summon, then you can bring one of your monsters back. Then end link summon again, which is awesome. I run one launcher commander. So all Cyrus gain 300 attack and defense. And once per turn, you contribute one service monster, then target one face up monster your opponent controls and could destroy it. So, all these that are one ofs are kind of just support cards. One effect veiler, it's a quick effect. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one effect monster, your effect monster your opponent controls, and its effects are negated. So, great card. One lockout gardener. So, Lockout's effect is you can special summon when you're getting a direct attack and it can't be destroyed. So, it's great when so you're, if you don't have any defenses and you're about to get direct attacked and you can use him and uh, you don't receive any damage. So, again, it's not a great card, but it's in that scenario when you need it, you want it. Run one Ram Clouder. Tribute one monster, then target one service in your graveyard, special summon it, special summon one Rom Claudia. When this card normal summon, you can target one service monster in your graveyard, except Rom Claudia, add it to your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one level four or lower cybers from your deck. Uh, Alright, so that's it for the monsters. Again, it's very monster heavy. And deals a lot with special, normal, and special summoning all in one turn to get out your link plays. So that's it for the monsters. Now let's get into the spells. All right, guys, for the spells, you're gonna run two Sign Up Backdoor. So, Backdoor's effect is you can banish one Cybers monster you control, and um, if you do, add one Cybers monster from your deck to your hand whose attack is lower than the monster. And then during that next standby phase, that card can come back. Whoever you banish comes back and can attack directly. So Playmaker used this by banishing Firewall. And then the next turn he could attack directly with Firewall Dragon. So it's a great way to banish a card and then be able to use a direct attack. Next, I run three uh, Sinite Universes. So, Universe is all link monsters you control gain 300 attack, and once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard and shuffle it back into your deck. So, that's great, but the only downside of this is if this card leaves the field by a card effect, send all monster in the extras, extra card zone, extra monster zones to the graveyard. So, this can be good if your opponent has monsters, but if you can also hurt a lot from this. So that's why, you know, it's it's a good field spell. Definitely use it if you get it, but it's not like a, a game breaker, you know. Then finally, my last spell is one-time passcode. Um, basically, it's just a token. One cyber's token. So to use to link summon. So that's it for my spells, and now let's get to the traps. All right, finally, the traps. We're going to run three Cybers Beacon. So Cybers Beacon is 
when uh, you take battle damage by an opponent's card effect, you can add one level 4 or lower Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. So it's just to try and compensate for when you do take damage, so you're not only taking damage, at least you'll get a card back. Um, next, two, Recoded Alive. So target one Link 3 Cybers, mo Cybers Link monster you control or is in the graveyard. So either of the talkers. And if you do special summon one t code talker from your extract. So it's basically if one's in the grave, you can use this to summon your other one. Um, and then finally, one metaverse. It's basically to add Sinai Universe to your hand. And that's really it. So that's it for the main deck and all the spells and traps. And now finally, the extra deck. Alright guys, so now for the extra deck, since this is a pure cyber build, um, it's all Link Cyber Monsters, so we are going to run one Link Spider, so it's one normal monster, and then you can special summon one level 4 lower normal monster from your hand, so using Bitron and Digitron again, I run one Honeybot. So two cybers, um, basically monsters that are linked to this card can be affected by effects. Affected by effects, wow, it's a tongue twister. Um, one binary sorceress. So binary sorceress effect is, so it's two monsters except tokens. And so it's basically, um, their effect is based on the number of cards that are linked to it. So if one is linked to it, when a monster co-links to this card, but as your opponent's monster and inflicts damage, you gain that life points, which is nice. Um, because you do damage and then you gain life points, like that's awesome. Now, if both cards are linked to it, once per turn this is a quick effect, you can target two face up monsters you control until the end of this turn, half the attack of one of the monsters, and you um and if you do add that half attack to the other. So that's good if um, you know, just, just to build up one monster. Next, for the Link 3s, Trigate Wizard. Trigate is awesome, so, oof. so the only bad thing is you can't use tokens, but it's not a big deal. So, if one monster, again, this is another one that is based on however many cards are linked to it. So, if one is linked to it. And it battles your opponent's monster. Any battled damage is doubled, which is nice. Excuse me. If two cards linked to it, you can target one card in the field. Banish it. Three. When a card or effect is activated, this is a quick effect, you can negate the activation and banish the card. Great card. Next. One. Encode Talker. Um, not a huge fan of encode to be honest like i mean decode talker is amazing um this is more of like a supporting role so basically uh before damage calculation if a monster's card points to um battles an opponent's monster with higher attack you can make that monster unable to be destroyed by battle and you take no damp battle damage so that's good um after that damage calculation after this card or one monster points to gain attack um attack equal to the attack of the the battled opponent's monster so a little bit of tongue twister but the effect's okay you know it's it's a definitely a, a more supporting role effect than anything um and now finally the two beasts of cybers deco talker unreal such a good card to affect monsters and it gains 500 attack for each monster that points to it so i mean easily you can build up this um to 3300 attack and so then it's second effect when an opponent activates a card that targets a card you control quick effect you can um tribute one monster's card points to and negate the effect so it's kind of pick and choose who you want to be destroyed and finally the main monster. Dun da da da. 
Firewall Dragon. Epic. Look at that. Love Firewall Dragon. It's crazy how good it is. Um, so it's effect. It's two plus monster. So it's a link four, which kind of sucks. But again, it's it is what it is for this powerful of a card in an, a deck where monsters are lined up all over the field. It's not that bad to get out. So it's effect. Once while face up on the field, this is a quick effect. You can target monsters on the field and or graveyard up to the numbers of monsters co linked to this card, return them to the hand. So you can use this. Um, personally, I use this for cards in my graveyard or cards in my opponent's field, return them to their hand or get cards back. Um, and then if a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard or sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one from your hand. So again, that's great if a monster you just get destroyed, and that gets destroyed, and then um, you can play Firewall Dragon. Or not Firewall Dragon, you can play Firewall Dragon's effect and bring out a monster from your hand. So that's it, guys. This is a pretty fun deck. Um, again, I'm going to have another updated one after Extreme Force comes out next week. So if you guys like the video, please give it a like. Please comment what profiles you would like to see in the future and as always please subscribe jake is out